Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, you'll learn how to connect your phone to a network using Wi-Fi, connect to a Bluetooth device, send files via Bluetooth, and use Wi-Fi tethering. To connect your phone to a Wi-Fi network, do the following. Press the menu key and tap Settings. Tap Wireless and Networks. Now tap here to turn on Wi-Fi. Tap Wi-Fi Settings. Mark this checkbox if you wish to be notified when an open network is available. A list of Wi-Fi networks is displayed here, and you can see which networks are open and those that are secured. Tap to select the network you wish to connect to. If the network is password protected, enter the password. Now tap Connect. You can manually add a Wi-Fi network by tapping here. Fill in the network SSID, Select Security Type, enter the password here, and tap Save. This is useful if you want to connect to hidden Wi-Fi networks that may not appear in the list. Once you have successfully connected, you'll see a Wi-Fi icon in the status bar. Other settings can be found by pressing the menu key and then tap Advanced. Tap here to specify the Wi-Fi sleep policy and if you wish, set a static IP address. Now let's have a look at how you can use Bluetooth to send files and how you can connect other devices to your phone. In the Wireless and Network Settings menu, tap this checkbox to turn on Bluetooth. Now tap Bluetooth Settings. Make sure that the device you want to send to also has turned on Bluetooth and is set to Discoverable. Tap Scan for Devices and tap the device name that you wish to connect to. The device can now be paired with your phone. Confirm the pairing request by tapping Pair. This must be done on the other device. Pairing other devices, such as a Bluetooth headset, works in the same way. If required, enter the generic passcode 0000 or 1234 to pair your headset with the phone. You can send files to another phone without pairing it, but pairing a device makes it easier to find in the list if you want to send files on a regular basis. To share an image, start the gallery application and choose an image that you want to send. Tap Menu and then Share. Select Bluetooth. Tap the device name that you wish to send to. In the other device, confirm the transfer when done, the picture is sent. In the Bluetooth settings, press and hold on the device in the list. This will bring up a menu with different options. Press the back key. To disconnect the device, tap the headset in the list. Then tap OK. Your device is now disconnected, but it's still paired with your phone for future use. To turn the device on again, you only have to go into this menu and tap the device you want to connect to. By using Wi-Fi tethering, your phone can become a Wi-Fi hotspot and share its data connection. It transforms your phone into a Wi-Fi router, enabling the sharing of internet and other Wi-Fi devices. This means that you can connect another device or computer and use it in the same manner that you would use a mobile internet connection. Your phone will also act as a server. That means that several devices can use the connection from the phone at the same time. To do this, you must first set up a hotspot in the phone. Before connecting your phone to the internet via your operator, please check that you have a flat rate data subscription or costly data charges may apply. Depending on your region and operator, this feature might not be available. In the settings menu, tap wireless and networks. Tap Tethering and Portable Hotspot, then Portable Wi-Fi Hotspot Settings. The network SSID is already filled in, but if you wish you can give it another name. For security reasons, the network should always be password protected, but you can also set the hotspot to be an open network. Set a password, it should have at least 8 characters. Tap Save. Now tap the checkbox for Portable Wi-Fi Hotspot. When active, you will see this symbol in the status bar. 
In the device you want to connect to, make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on and search for the network. Fill in the password and you are now connected to the phone's network. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the Xperia Neo Support Zone, where you can improve your user experience.